Hi, I'm Jonah, and this is Pet Rock. It's a new year rack module. Pet Rock is a rhythm generator, uh, but what I really set out to do was play with time in a way that I hadn't seen done before in, in music hardware. So at its most basic, Pet Rock is like Wordle. So every night at midnight, you get a new rhythm, and you only get that rhythm for 24 hours, and then you get a new one the next day. Uh, the rhythms don't repeat, and every single module will have the exact same rhythm, so you and your friends can kind of compare notes and send each other what you've been working on. You can think of it more as sort of a collaborator. It plays a, a different role than a normal Eurorack module. It does its own thing, and it kind of gives you a, a prompt. Uh, so let's turn it on and check it out. So when you turn on Pet Rock, there's three indicators. There's the day, that's Tuesday. You can see it's really Tuesday. There is the moon cycle, um, the, the, the current phase of the moon cycle, which is a waning crescent. That's the real moon cycle, and that's actually the same phase all over the world. And then there's the mood. So the mood is my term for which algorithm are we generating with. And right now we're generating with the red algorithm. And this only changes once the, uh, the, the moon cycle resets. So when we get back up here to the new moon, this will turn from red to blue. And you'll be listening to the blue algorithm for the next 31 days. And there are four different algorithms right now. So you can think of it as a really slow four-month LFO cycling between them. Um, but over the course of this moon cycle, the parameters of the algorithm do change. They kind of wax and wane with the moon phases uh, in a subtle but noticeable way. So that's kind of part of the little puzzle of trying to hear what's happening um, over the course of a moon cycle. So let's actually use it. How it works is you have to feed it any clock source, and then it will output uh, triggers or gates with that... Uh, with the rhythm that it has inside of there. So there's an A and a B actually for each day. So each rhythm is a composite rhythm made up of two components. Let's listen to A first. Ooh. So that's our A rhythm. And then I have set up the same thing with our B rhythm. It's a little tricky. I'm doing this one handed while I hold the mic. So that's today's composite rhythm. And the rhythms are meant to uh, kind of inspire you or make you think of something or spark off a track. It's not supposed to be sort of the whole thing. Like this might give you an idea for another rhythm to put on it or some chords or something like that. Um, and you can also, you can clock these in any way. So right now we're clocking at 16th notes um, at 90 BPM, but let's clock the, uh, let's clock the little synth part at halftime. And maybe we think, well, if that's at halftime, we want it to be the kick. Maybe we want this to be the little synth part instead. And maybe we say, actually, let's put them back to the same timing. So you can see there's a lot to play around with. And then also additionally, let's put this back down. Uh, any sort of swing, any sort of variation that you're uh, providing to the clock is going to be reflected to the rhythm. So it's not just a BPM, it is a, it's a gate skipper. So anything that you put in will be reflected when it comes out. You could even clock it with different gates. So here I've got a little sling, swing uh, parameter hooked up to this knob. Let's put it back to four. Maybe let's swap them and see what that sounds like. And you can see when this turns blue, that means that um, it's resetting. So you can see these are not the same length. So you have this pretty complex uh, phasing relationship as they kind of collide over each other. The other experimental thing I'm doing with this module is selling it at cost. So however much it costs me to make it is how much you're going to buy it for. Uh, that's going to be somewhere between 15 to $20 base cost for me to make it. And then I have to figure out how much the distributor is going to charge me to distribute it and there a couple of other things. But that, that's around what it's going to cost. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some examples of just music that I've made with it on, on different days. <laughs> 